This is William when he's just come into the hospital. His nose has been blown away, and the first reactions are really horror, revulsion, pity. Gilly's solution was to use a new take on an old idea, the Indian pedicle or forehead flap. What Gillis decides to do is he removes some rib cartilage from William and moves it up and puts it in his forehead. And there is this astonishing photograph here um, where you can see clearly the rib cartilage just beneath the skin. He had to wander around looking like this for six months until Gillies was able to swing the pedicle down and start repairing the nose. Having swung the pedicle down, he could begin reconstructing the nose using Spreckley's forehead skin and the rib cartilage. At this point, he frankly still looks utterly terrible. Gillies himself described it as an anteater nose. It is swollen, it is grotesque. There's a look of terrible sadness in his eyes. And then you come to the end, and this really is impressive, because this is William when he's discharged. And he's still, I have to say, he doesn't look happy. He still looks sad. He's obviously conscious of his looks, but he is utterly transformed from the man who came in. Encouraged, Gillies was keen to push the boundaries even further. 23-year-old Henry Lumley joined the fledgling Royal Flying Corps in December 1915. 